Hello everyone, welcome back to the Husky Hut. Today what we're gonna be working on are three drills. These drills are simple, they're easy, they do not require much equipment, but the benefit's gonna be substantial for each of our dogs. These uh, drills are meant to be for a new dog or a seasoned dog. Either or, they're gonna be beneficial in the long run. We're gonna be applying these drills, and if we do these on a weekly or daily basis, our transition into bike drawing or sledding season will go a lot smoother. So let's start with the first drill here. All right, for our first drill today, it's gonna to be called line out. The purpose of this drill is to have your dog lean into their harness at all times. We want that line being taut at all times, while they're, whether they are running, or whether they are on the bike, on the sled, it doesn't matter. For this drill, we need a carabiner and a leash, we need a neckline, and we need a dog and a harness. And the purpose of this is we're gonna hook it up to a fence, a tree post, a couch leg, something that is gonna anchor this line, and then we're gonna have the dog lean out. I'm gonna demonstrate how it's done, and it, the dogs will pick it up sooner and sooner and quicker, and it will eventually transition over into that bike joint or sled. Okay, so to start the line out, I'm gonna anchor my leash to my fence, I have my neckline attached to my dog's collar, and the leash is attached to the harness. So I'm going to verbalize, line out, line out, you know, and I'm just going to let her rest there, seeing how she's lined out and leaning into her harness, and this is staying tight, this is what we want. So we're going to do this for about 30 seconds, if you do this every day for about 30 seconds for the whole week, they're going to learn this pretty quickly. We don't use treats, we just use this if they start to lean back, we use this to uh, encourage them to lean forward. But this is the drill line out that will be useful. Okay, our next drill is going to be teaching the dogs haws and G's. Now this is a skill and a drill that's not going to be learned overnight, it's going to take some time to accomplish. I'm going to show you the ways that I taught my dogs, which was just going on walks. The walks how I incorporated it was every time we took a left, I said ha. Huh. Every time we took a G or a right, I said G. So all these different, every time that I said that it incorporated in their minds that this was the direction that we were going. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and show different sidewalks that have forks and we're gonna use ha's and G's. We're gonna go by trees and tell them to go left or right around that tree. And one little tip that I like to use is a neckline. If, I, if you have two or more dogs, using a neckline is beneficial because if one dog knows it and the other dog doesn't, they are going to teach them each other and they will learn faster. So I'll show you a quick video of us demonstrating these haws and G's while we are on a walk. We're going to take a left here, but we're going to try and go around this pile of rocks. You go ha, 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 yes. So they're going around the rocks that are just taking the turn and this is one way you can help incorporate the haws and G's on the walks is go around certain obstacles. Nice job guys. So we're going to follow this path. We're going to go ha, ha. Nope, do you know? Ha, ha. Let's go. Good boy Timber. That's an example of how Timber can pull Juno. Nope, nope, ha. Huh. Good girl, good boy, Timber. How they kind of lead each other. So now we're gonna take a G into the grass. Can you go G, G? We have a tree here, we're gonna go to the left of it. You go ha, huh. ha, huh. ha. Huh. Juno, ha. Huh. Good dogs. You go G. So we're gonna kind of just steer them around the park here. You go G. G. Juno, G. G. There we go. No. Let's go. On by. On by. Good dog. Nice job, Juno. Good job, Juno. Let's go. All right, 
right, for drill number three, what we're gonna do is we're gonna swim. You can do this in a lake, you can do this in a river, you can do it in a swimming pool, wherever you have access to water where the dog can't necessarily touch the bottom, that's what we're gonna use. And I like to put the dog in a harness and hook them up to a leash to that harness so they kind of just swim in place. And this will allow the core, the arms, and the legs to build up strength so that transition into bike drawing and sledding season goes that much smoother. So we're gonna try it out with Juno here and I'll show you what I do. I like to do 30 second intervals and then I do that four or five times a few times a week. So we're gonna swim for maybe about five minutes today of 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off for five minutes. And then we're gonna do that a couple times during the week and that's gonna make that transition smooth. So let's see how it works. So right here we have Juno that's gonna be our, uh, she's gonna practice this with us. So we're currently standing and sitting on a table right now. So she's not working. I'm gonna push her off here. I'm gonna hold this leash and let her swim in place. Nice job, Juno. And you just hold the harness and the dog just kind of swims in place for 30 seconds and you're going to do this a couple times a few repetitions giving them rest in between this will build up their arm their leg and their core strength so when that transition to winter fall season comes uh, the dogs will be uh, ready so you would do this for 30 seconds and i'm standing on the table still i'm going to bring her back onto the table so she can rest and those are the three drills that I uh, highly recommend that you start now and will make you and your dogs ready come sled season or bike drawing season, whatever may come first. I'll see you guys next time.